and welcome to my challenge. When I set up Tea and Crafting eight years ago, I started out teaching crochet and knitting workshops. And to this day, they both continue to be one of the most popular workshops to attend and really one of my most favorite ones to teach. So I'm really happy that you've decided to take part in this challenge. By the end of five days, you will be crocheting. I honestly believe that anybody can learn to crochet. Obviously, some people will pick it up quicker than others. And if you're struggling at home, please don't be put off and don't give up. Just persevere. It just takes a lot of practice. <music> It's been proven that you only need 20 hours of practicing a new skill to be proficient at it. That's 20 hours, that's less than one day. So if you've got 20 hours to invest in this new craft, you will be crocheting away. Now, obviously I'm not expecting you to put in four hours a day of crochet over the five day challenge, but I am encouraging you to practice as much as you can whenever you get the chance. Soon your hands will be moving without you even thinking about it. And that's what we call muscle memory. And it really is incredible. So practice, practice, practice would be my advice during this challenge. Remember, muscle memory is incredible and you need less than one day to master crochet. The first few hours of trying any new craft can always be challenging, but a little persistence can result in huge increases in skill. Did you know that the human brain is optimized to pick up new skills extremely quickly? <laughs> that might surprise you. I know it surprised me when I found that out. So a little practice and you will experience vast improvement in a very short amount of time, five days. One of the great things about starting out crocheting is that you don't really need much to get started. You'll just need a crochet hook, some yarn and a pair of scissors. Now, if any of you have got any yarn excess friends, I'm telling you to go and raid their stash because they've probably got plenty of yarn that you can choose. We will be using yarn called Double Knit. And when we start the challenge, I'll be explaining a little bit more about the yarn that you will use. But ideally, you'd want to get a size four millimeter crochet hook and double knit wool in as many colors as you can, because I will be teaching you how to make the most colorful granny squares. So we will be changing color for each round that we do. So yarn, a pair of scissors and a crochet hook, and I will see you on the 1st of September to get crocheting. Until then, enjoy the rest of your summer. Bye.